Hey everybody, I'm Mrs. Meat Magazine. Subscribe, thumbs up, and comment below. Click the thumbs up button, thumbs up. Subscribe, choose all notifications. Say a comment below, even if you're just saying hi. Say hi right now, you can leave another comment later. How about that? I'll be right back. Oh, before I go, I have another video showing you what Masika Kalisha and what Cass Stacks had to say about Nicki Minaj. Make sure you watch that video as well. All right, y'all, I'll be right back. Click the thumbs up button and say hi right now. He canceled on me 48 hours before the shoot. So then I said, well, could you, I had my people hit his people and I said, well, can you overnight the wig then? And you know, we could have someone just apply it and you know, keep it smooth like that. And he said, no. And so with 24 hours left, cause today the song came out and I was always gonna put the video out the same day the song came out. With 24 hours left, child, we had to, um, I had to call somebody and thank God someone came to do it because it was really important for me because we don't have a video with the song and the song and, the, and this little Instagram video is promotional for the song. Um, so I feel, I think that you know what's been happening and this is why you got to be so careful like sometimes you spoil people when when you cancel on someone all the time and they always just not do what they're supposed to do because of it you start thinking that that's how things are supposed to go but um no you know i have to work so if i have 24 hours left to get my hair done my hair done should I have not been able to post a promotional video for my song coming out like what you guys please have a blessed and happy day um let's spread positivity as much as we can and even when people are being negative let's just counteract that with positivity and let's just stream move your hips Featuring ASAP Ferg and Made in Tokyo. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone is happy. That's all. Um, I can't. I can't stop. I can't stop the the shoots anymore because I've been doing that for such a long time. I, I'm always getting canceled on. Always, always. So I don't want to have to pull up my text messages because it's so it's so tacky and childish. But I never ever speak up about anything, and um, you know sometimes you just gotta speak because people will just bash you and say the most craziest things about you when you have the proof sitting in your phone. Like, how do you cancel somebody 48, 48 hours before? Then they tell you, we'll send the wig. You say no, but then you literally want them to not promote their song. Yeah. Um, I the Shade Room says, press play. Yes, ASAP Ferg, new record, Move Your Hips, featuring Nicki Minaj and Made in T.Y.O. or Made in T.O., I don't know, is officially out. And Nicki is coming through with the whole vibe as she listens to the record. Now, Jonathan from Love of Hip Hop New York says, When the king finally slays the queen, baby, I slay Nicki with the bun and chopsticks. Drop a strawberry emoji if I end this look in color with the hearts and the eyes emoji. That could be taking the shade, you know, towards Arrogant Tay because he's calling himself the king. Pause before I read the rest of this. I had to correct myself. I'm sorry. This is not Jonathan from Love of Hip Hop. Not Jonathan Fernandez, but Jonathan Wright. I am underscore Jonathan underscore wrong Jonathan. But anyway, back to the story. I'm so sorry. The shade room caused something really shady. They said Nicki Minaj liked a tweet explaining why Arrogant Tay wasn't able to do her hair. And Tay posted something in his Instagram story as well. Here's what Nicki Minaj said. Rather, what she liked. A fan said Tay wasn't available. He has TJ. But I guess they meant to say he has two. He has two. Get his wisdom tooth pulled out. And Jonathan was available. Tay is still Nikki's hairstylist. Y'all being messy for what? Then Arrogant Tay reposted somebody who said the following. It's no shade, but it might be shade, but you knew that wasn't Arrogant Tay's work. I'm looking at the video of Nikki like, I don't really like this. And boom, Tay ain't do it. And Tay said, I never switched up, but they switched up. 
I've learned my lesson being loyal to people and real and sticking by people's side don't get you no more. Maybe he's meant to say no weird. But hey, it's life. You can't trust people. Shrugging emoji. People are petty, but I'm done dealing with people who's not loyal. But crap. Let's turn all the way up then with an arm flexing emoji. Now, Tay, you know you have no muscles. And then it says that Tay and Nicki Minaj unfollowed each other. However, Nicki Minaj is following I Am Jonathan. The Shade Room says, looks like Nicki Minaj and her hairstylist Tay do not follow each other. However, <laughs> however, Nicki is following a different hairstylist, Jonathan, who Tay has recently been at odds with. You mean been replaced by? Anyways. Tay said, turn down so many people and so many opportunities from just being loyal and solid. Never again. The Shade Room said, Nicki Minaj's hairstylist Tay continues to speak after Jonathan, another stylist who he recently became at odds with, did Nicki's hair. Earlier, Nicki liked the tweet that said Tay was unavailable to do her hair due to being at the dentist. Swipe and view previous posts. So Tay goes on to say, one thing I hate is having love for people who always turn their back on me. That's my biggest problem. When I love people and it's genuine, I go above and beyond. But I am tired of people playing with me. Ah, oh, God. And I hate that I even have to speak on this lame ABS. But it's so cool. Can nothing and nobody ever take me off my throne? I'm going to keep winning and that's on God. Next people I work with, I'm keeping that crap strictly business. Don't try and build no friendships or bonds because I'm not doing none of that crap no more. The Shade Room goes on to say, press play. Nicki Minaj addressed what went down with her hairstylist, Tay. After he went on a rant earlier today due to her using a different stylist he's recently been at odds with. According to Nicki, her hairstylist was aware of the shoot for months and frequently got updates on when the shoot would be and he ended up canceling on her last minute. She adds that she asked him to ship the wig and they'd have someone else install it. However, he said no. So Irrigant Tay goes on to say, I did not cancel. I had to get my wisdom teeth pulled today, July 30th, which I made my appointment two weeks because I been was supposed to get it pulled for months now. And I told her, I'm going to see if I could reschedule my appointment. And I couldn't because the next date they had available wasn't till middle August. So her team asked, could I overnight a wig? Nikki doesn't like wearing no other wigs from no other companies expect for one, well, I guess they meant to say except for one company that barely communicate with me. So I can't make a wig and that I know she's not going to like because she doesn't like other wigs and I wasn't trying to get cursed out for bringing wigs that she, she feels don't fit her head like the ones she's used to. Is that true that some of these wigs don't fit y'all heads? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Mind you, I didn't get any details on wig of how she wants it or nothing because she didn't text me like she always does. Her team reached my manager and my manager told me but I've been working with her for so long that I know Nikki and what she likes and doesn't like but whatever it's not okay and it's not cool but it is what it is I've done my part by being there for her and being loyal and never going against her and always supported her but the shade man it's not what I'm with Irrigante also says y'all can say what y'all want I love her and her music but wrong is wrong Go stream now, pink heart emoji, still my favorite rapper with a crown emoji. So he's loyal to the end. Here's what my favorite blog T Tenders posted. Your man Arrogant Tay says, I never said no, but I know she is with the wigs she likes. The companies she uses have not been texting me back, but when I ask them to send me three blonde wigs that I can color and have on hand for her, but I got no response. But if I would have got a wig from elsewhere, I would have got cursed out. It's because she knows the difference. <laughs> I really wanted to be there because I always try to make sure that I'm there for her. But I had to handle my business and get my tooth pulled because I've been holding it off way before Corona. And I couldn't because of Corona. Now that businesses are back open, I went and got it over with. And that's not about being spoiled. But you don't go against me with people who sit and shade me and feel a way about me. But whatever. It's life. Also from T Tenders, here's some of the comments people were leaving. Somebody says, go against Nikki, it's gonna cost you. Somebody else said, well, guess what? You're canceled, your fault. She's a grown A woman and wanted her hair done as soon as possible. Get the F on. Somebody else says, I really don't wanna cancel you, 
but you're really G-O-M-N. What does G-O-M-N mean? Somebody let me know in the comments. Somebody else says, so you cancel, Tay Baby. Meanwhile, Jonathan posted on Instagram stories things to T-Tenders that basically he was trending on Twitter. And also, somebody said, business is business, and that's one thing I know for sure about Jonathan. He's about his business, 100. So how somebody feel is personal, if you ask me. And then I guess this is Jonathan responding to them. He said, they mad, make them matter, stay on their necks, or I don't know, maybe, I don't know who said that. But anyways, but yeah, Jonathan is, I guess, feeling himself. But here's the thing, though, Jonathan, um, I saw your work, bro. And it, I mean, you know, credit to you, you know, you have some talent for what I've seen. You know, Nikki looked relatively nice, but nobody's messing with Eric and Tay. I've seen his work, the stuff he does, the Dream Doll. Nicki Minaj remember when Nicki Minaj had that lady who was working for her and everybody was like uh uh remember she was at some some place and she did some performance and everybody was like yo why does Nicki look so bad like why who who let her walk out on stage like that remember it was some lady I can't remember her name let me know in the comments if you know who I'm talking about it was some some chick and Nikki got rid of her, got arrogant Tay, and everybody's like, Nikki's back. Everybody's like, oh shoot, Nikki's looking fly again. Like she's looking like the the Nikki that we know. Like she's stunt like 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 Biggie Small said, styling on him, wilding on him. You know, because that's what Nikki does. She's fly. Anyways, look, bro. Arrogant Tay is not to be messed with. Arrogant Tay is the Wu Tang clan of styling. Nobody's touching him. Shout out to Jonathan. You did your thing with the Nikki look. It looked alright. But Nobody's touching Eric and Tay. He's the best. It is what it is. Y'all can y'all can hate on. You know I don't know much about the hair and stuff. I just know when, when women look good. And Eric and Tay, be having these chicks out here looking so good, they be driving me crazy. So I'm just gonna have to give all the credit to Eric and Tay. Shoot, if I was doing anything in the movie or the music industry, you know Eric and Tay, you got the job. I've I, I, I've already seen enough. Now I'll just write that brother a check. It wouldn't be it would be no discussion uh, other than uh, how much do you charge? Boom, got that. If it's in the budget, I whatever he wants but anyways this is all my opinion what do y'all think about this ridiculousness the fact that people are fighting over hair you know just like these chicks be out here stealing weeds from the store but i'm not supposed to talk about that because that's going to hurt somebody's feelings but anyways let me know what y'all think about it below whose side do you want are you on irrigate side or Nicki minaj side do you believe that this amazing guy is canceled i don't i mean the work that he's done with dream doll alone legendary god level so uh, I would have to say that he's most definitely not canceled. I said that Eric and Tay is the best in the business. Two thumbs up. I've seen your work. You're phenomenal at what you do. Kudos and props to you. I hope that you get another huge client, whether it's Rihanna or somebody else who's comparable. Beyonce, you probably work with them anyway. But I'm talking about somebody consistent. And I hope that you don't have to worry about anything. You got enough to worry about getting your tooth pulled. I know your tooth hurts like heck. You know, any of us who've had any sort of tooth problem, you already know. I mean, it. I hope somebody else typed his messages for him. Make sure you stay tuned for my Masika Kalisha and Cat Stacks dissing Nikki video. I'm. Am I posting a Tamar video next? Because Tamar just got out the hospital, I think, and she left some messages on social media about what was going on. I got that video to make, and I got the Masika and Cat Stacks one to make today, July 30th of 2020. Hopefully, I'll get a chance to post more videos. I did other recordings. Y'all gonna be shocked at what I'm gonna post, but anyways, uh, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Like Martin Lawrence would say, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, choose all notifications to let me know you listen all the way to the end of this video. Secret password to say in the comment section is wig wars because this is a wig war out here. Wig wars is the comment section. I mean, is the comment to post in the comment section? Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. If you were listening to me ramble for uh, in a 20 minute or so video, you can definitely click the thumbs up button and say hi. Are right, y'all mad?